example of your angular motion, let us analyze uh, the problem again. You have a force of 50 newton applied to the hangy, uh, to the door hangy, the effective length. This is effective length will act as your radius. So you have an effective length of 15 centimeter. Calculate your torque. And then the second question, you calculate your weight down. Now, write your data down. You are given the force of 50 newton and the length of 15 centimeter converted to a basic SI unit is 0 0.15 meters. First question, you calculate your torque. So you only have one, uh, you have three formulas for torque. Torque is force multiplied by radius. Uh, it's also weight done is equal to torque. You can use that equation and then your power uh, is 2 pi mt. Obviously, you're going to use this equation. Talk, uh, so, number one, your torque is equal to force multiplied by your radius. This 50 will act as your radius. So, your torque will be 50 multiplied by 0 0.15. So, it's 50 multiplied by 0 0.15. Your torque is 7.5 newton meter. That number one. Number two, they want you to calculate your weight down. So your weight down, uh, it not uh, force matter by distance under your angular motion. Here is the equation for your weight down, torque multiplied by angular displacement. So to calculate your weight down, you must have your torque, which you already have, you must have your angular displacement. Now, to the angle of 45 degrees. Now, how can you get your angular displacement out of that equation? So you have your angle. That means your angular displacement will be 45 changes decrease to radians. It will be 45 divided by 360 degrees multiplied by 2 pi. So 45 over 360, you get uh, your revolutions multiplied by 2 pi, you're changing your revolutions to red. Uh, you will have 45 multiplied by 2 pi divided by 360. Your radians is 0 0.785. Therefore, your weight done is torque multiplied by uh, your radians, which is 7.5 multiplied by 0, 0.785. So your work done would be 5.89 joules. So that's how you get your work done. Now, you could see now if you're solving the problems in uh, your angular motion, you just have to have your formulas. Then you select the right formula, you write your, right, your data down, you select the right formula that you use, your applicable formula for that uh, particular problem. Thank you for watching my video in, uh, in Angular Motion. This is the example of Angular Motion, and then I will see you when we.